Hello Chocks and Chocettes, no one in between, Chocolate Birds here for another video review, this time the Twix Cookies and Cream. Or Cookies and Creme. <laughs> yeah, so US import this one, I got it from a local import shop. Um, yeah, so it costs a bit of, well, cost a ridiculous amount, I think, probably about two pounds or something, but, uh, <laughs> but there we go. Looks quite nice, looks quite nice. Um, yeah, so what actually is it? Well, I think you could probably imagine, but those of you who don't know, a Twix is a two-fingered bar. Um, generally, the regular one is biscuit with... Um, a caramel top and then covered in milk chocolate so um yeah so in this case it looks like the biscuit is um well the cookies part uh, at least it's dark chocolate biscuit at least that's no it's normally just a regular sort of biscuit sort of and obviously instead of caramel they've got like a cream with cookie bits in and then dark chocolate and um, well, milk chocolate around it so yeah it seems um seems interesting so what does it say does it have an actual description i don't think it does actually um well there we go so Okay, so it says sort of, it sort of has a, a strange description there. It says cream with cookie bits, chocolates, cookie bars, milk chocolates. That's, the US have a bit of a funny one when they come to describing their chocolates, if it focuses in again. Looks like it's uh, not wanting to. They just sort of describe it like that. They don't really tell you what's in the bar. They, t well, they don't tell you what the bar is, they tell you what's in it. Um, it's a bit funny, so it's a bit like that. So rather than just have a sort of like a nice flavorful description, they just sort of tell you it like that really so there we go <laughs> it's a bit like the the um the sort of boring description you get on the back of um products in the uk above the nutritional information things like this you know it's that kind of description rather than a sort of lovely you know beautified description i guess but you know there you go um so serving size uh, one pack two cookies it says so calories 200 calories 11 grams of fat um saturated fat six percent Okay, so it doesn't give you, oh, total fat 11 grams, saturated fat 6 grams, there we go, yeah, so we can see it there. There we go, yeah. Um, okay, interesting, interesting. Does it say, uh, okay, partially produced with genetic engineering, it says, so did you say that in the US part? You can see there, um, doesn't seem to, ever, I, don't know, I don't know why they don't say that in the UK, I, don't, I guess it's maybe the, they never are, or unless maybe they have to say it in the UK, uh, in the US. Um, but don't have to in the EU and UK. So you can see there, partially, where is it now? Oop. There we go, partially, I can find it again. <laughs> partially produced with genetic engineering, there you go, yeah. It doesn't have palm oil in there, I can't uh, see it. Oh, there we go, yes it does. There we go, palm oil, just underneath my finger. Palm oil, so it does have it in. Most things do seem to have it in, don't. there's only a couple of bars that don't. Um, which one was it now? I didn't have it in. There's a brand that didn't have, didn't seem to always end, didn't seem to ever have it in. I think it might be Milka. I think Milka doesn't have palm oil in. I think I could be wrong on that one. Um, not sure. Carfazer maybe. I don't know. But Cadbury's always seems to do it in Twix, of course. I think Milka doesn't. I think, but I could be wrong on that. So don't quote me on it. You can see here it got uh, quite a bit of flourishes going on. But uh, you can see if I do this, we can see how much smaller it is. And look at that. It looks like it's almost like the size of a Turkish delight. You know, fries Turkish delight. And you actually get rid of the. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, look at that. So you've got this bit here, and you've got this bit here. And there's still going to be a couple of millimetres of thickness of wrapper. So it's pretty poor, that. Pretty poor. OK, well, we'll measure it when they come to open it. So, speaking of which, I think we should do it. <laughs> Let's give it an open. <laughs> OK, let's give this uh, Twix cookies and creme, or cookies and cream, an open. I used to think that um, when they spotted creme like this, it was because, basically, um, they couldn't spell it cream because it didn't have actual cream in it so they spelled it creme to get away with it <laughs> um but there was one product that did do that and um, spell it cream sort of c-r-e-a-m um and it didn't have cream in it, it actually declared it didn't have cream in the, in the, the back so uh, i'm not sure basically but i don't know whether they just got it wrong and um, made a mistake and perhaps they you know uh, needed to change it later on or whatnot because everything else seems to still seems to live up to that way it doesn't actually have cream in it um yeah so i'm not sure i don't know I think that still might be the case, but there we go. Okay, so let's give it, um, give it a measure then. So I'll use the old, trust me, because I can't really do it with the digital calipers this way, because it's just a bit, it'll start squeezing it. So it's about 20, it's about 20, <laughs> it's about 12 and a half centimetres like that. Um, let's give it an open then, see what it shrinks to. 12 and a half, don't forget. Now each finger here. <laughs> now I'll measure it without the digital calipers, because obviously, just to be fair, but it was 12 and a half. And now it's eight, basically, eight centimeters. So we lost over over fifty percent, pretty much there. Do a proper measure with the old calipers. Hopefully, stays in place. 
Yeah, so it's 8 8.2 centimeters. Could change a bit there. But... Okay. Yeah, and then we'll do a the side. Two centimeters, two point one, and then once you want to do the height as well, about one point six centimeters. There we go. So eight centimeters. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That isn't it? I mean, yeah. So yeah, it's over fifty percent because it was eight point five. Yeah, so you can see there. You know, yeah, just ridiculous. That isn't it? You know, when you think about it like that. You know, yeah, it is ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so, so, so we lost over 50% of the bar. I think I was looking at the other way around before, but yes, it is over 50% of the bar we've lost there. Um, yeah, so it's just it's just poor, isn't it? You know, so it's, let's say, 12 and a half centimetres long. Um, although when flat, it's a bit longer than that. So when flattened, actually, it is, does seem a bit long. So it could be a bit unfair, that, because obviously when you're pushing it up, you do bulge it out a bit. So, you know, when, it, when it's completely flat like this, it is 13 centimetres. But it's still not the point, is it, really? It's not that you still, you know, get the idea. Um, yeah. So it's 12 and a half normally before anyway. So, hmm. Okay. Let's give it a cut then. So we've got two fingers here. I'm sure they, in the UK, I think they are generally long in this. But look at it, it's so small. Mm, they have shrunk a lot in the UK as well, though. Okay. Well, there we go. It looks, I think it looks pretty good. Not quite as runny. Well, it doesn't really see, well, it says it's slightly runny on the front. You can see like a little pull thing, can't you? Where it's been, you know, the, the sort of cream bits pulled out a bit and it looks like it's a slight liquid, but um, I don't think it's really like anything like that. But you can see it still looks quite, uh, there's still a lot of pieces in there in the cream part. I think this is acceptable, I'm quite big. I think, I think it's acceptable that as to what it looks like on the wrapper. You know, it's not as glamorous, but um, yeah. It's got um, lots of cookie pieces in. The proportions are about right. Looks about the same, yeah. Oop. Okay, give it a drop. <laughs> All right, well, I think we should give it a taste. So it's like, let's do it. <laughs> let's give it a taste. Okay, I want to give this uh, Twix cookies and cream an open, US import. So um, yeah, very long story short is at the moment, it's been very terrible with the, uh, the flourishes side of it. So you can see this is a full finger here. You can see this is the bar. You can see there just uh, <laughs> how terrible that is. And I've not flattened it this time. It's bulged out a bit, so. With the package, so you can clearly see. Yeah, it is about to the. Well, it looks like it's not to the top there, but to me, it does look to the top. Mm. But either way, I think you can clearly see the massive uh, gap there. Right, of uh, contents, you know. Okay, well, let's give it a taste. Let's say it looks pretty nice. Let's do. Let's give it a go. Mm. Not bad, you know. Don't think got the um, typical cream sort of setting, you know, setting cream filling. Um, mm, it does taste very much like um, the one you get in, say, milk or something. But it's got um, very much a sort of American chocolate taste to this, you know, around the, on the actual outside of it. But the biscuit's not too bad. Mm. You can definitely taste the crunchy. Um, Cookie piece is quite soft. Mmm. Mmm. It's a bit different. As I said, the chocolate's not the best. It's um, very much a US chocolate, so, you know, obviously, most people in the US might love it, but um, <laughs> over in the UK, it's, it does taste to have a bit of a funny taste compared to our regular chocolate. But it's not too bad. Um, there's a nice chew in there somehow. I don't know what the chew is from. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, there must be some kind of caramel in the um, in the cream part because it is quite chewy. Mm. Mm. See there on top of there, I think that's poss possibly part of it there, just that bit on the top. Mm. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a caramel there. Also, that cookie bit is quite nice as well. Mm. Mm. It's not bad, you know. I'm not normally a big fan of these cream fillings, you know, um, especially like this sort of one you get in the Oreo. Um, cookies and cream milkers and things like this over here in the dairy milk. So I don't really like it that much. It's too sickly and a bit, a bit rubbish for me. But this actually is quite nice. It's, um, hmm. So it's got must have some kind of caramel in there somewhere. There's something giving it a bit of a chew. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, and I think you can kind of see underneath the cream, there is like another layer. You can see there's actually a caramel layer there. And it does sort of combine quite well with it. There's quite a few different textures here. It works pretty well, actually. I didn't realise it had the caramel. The, the, yeah, the caramel's still in it. It doesn't even say. Yeah, cream with cookie bits, chocolate cookie bar, milk chocolate. So it doesn't say there's caramel, but there actually is. You can see it there. It's not obviously very creamy, liquidy. Um, but yeah, it is there, and it does give it a nice chew. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is actually not bad. This is probably the best cookies and cream style chocolate bar I've had, really. I've never been that impressed with a lot of the others. It just tastes too creamy, too mm, sickly, not very good. But this one's not bad. I think the chocolate's a bit of the weak point, perhaps, because say it is this sort of US style chocolate. But the cookie biscuit's quite nice in the Twix. Um, the crunchy bits are quite nice and they're actually quite, um, quite sort of soft and. Um, Powdery almost, that you'd say. Mm. And the caramel mixes with the cream or creme. <laughs> Give you a bit of a chew. It's quite solid, the uh, the cream part. It's not too. Um, you can see there. It kind of seems to just have a almost like a caramel consistency that the and you, you would normally get in the tw in the Twix. I move my head out of the way and I can't <laughs> get to focus in. Yeah, so. Mm. You can see it seems to sort of, it seems to replicate the or uh, well yeah I guess replicate um, yeah the sort of the texture of the caramel sort of to an extent hmm hmm I'm very happy with this hmm I'm very happy with this I really am yeah it's very nice hmm let's say um you get a bit of a caramel you have to chop the top off there. You can clearly see the caramel though, the caramel bits. It's quite a solid caramel, it's gone, it has gone quite hard. Mm. That's quite chewy to eat that. Mm. Yeah, not bad at all. Mm. Works very well. I'm surprised at this and I like it. Mm. I think the biscuit bottom is quite nice. It's quite nice and. Um, mm. It's very chocolate biscuity. Yeah. I mean, the only problem with this bar is, um, <clears throat> I think the, the size of it really, just the way it's just so much smaller than the actual wrapper. Um, yeah, disappointment that, you know, I don't know why that is, it's just ridiculous. So I can't really give it a 5 out of 5 for that. I don't think, I don't know if I would anyway. Um, hmm. I think, you know, it's tempted to dock it points for that. I might, might have given it a 4.5 out of 5 normally, but I think I'll stick with a 4. 4 out of 5. I think just the size of it is ridiculous. I've got to knock it down for that bit, half a mark. Um, but it tastes really good. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a, it's, as I say, it's not a sickly cream filling at all. It's really nice. It works really well with the, with the caramel. That you, you get to a nice chew with it. The um, cookie piece filling is quite nice. They're quite nice and powdery, quite sort of, you know, that sort of consistency. They're quite nice, actually, yeah. Um, natural biscuit in the Twix as well is really nice. It's very different than the regular one, and it's... Um, I say not not gonna blow your socks off or anything, but it's a nice chocolate flavour biscuit. It's actually nice. It's not too dry or anything. It's, and it works well with the rest of the uh, the rest of the fillings and the textures. Yeah, I think it's a great, lovely set of textures, lovely set of tastes. Possibly the best cookies and cream taste I've had in a chocolate bar. It's not as they're not sickly or creamy. You know, it's actually quite solid. Really, it's quite chewy in a way. It's weird just the way it works with the with the caramel. Um, mm. Odd one, not what you'd expect. Probably don't know if it's really meant to do that, but for me it works very well. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I really like it. Four out of five. I say it would have been a four and a half, but there's just fifty percent wasted space or whatever in the package. Over fifty percent, I think it was. Yeah, it was actually, wasn't it? Over fifty percent. Um, just ridiculous that. Yeah, ridiculous. So, mm. but um, still a nice bar all the same. If you can get the hold of this one, definitely recommend it. Four out of five. <laughs> Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed that review, uh, follow on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the uh, YouTube membership program as well. Great way to support the channel, it truly is. Uh, but either way, leave a comment or free. It's always lovely to hear from you. It really is. I always reply as well. Uh, unless there's something crazy, of course, maybe I wouldn't then. But, <laughs> but I always do reply as best I can. And um, yeah, it's lovely to hear from you, it truly is. And thank you so much for your support. And thanks for watching the channel. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs>